Hi everybody. Um, today I'm coming at you with a video. Um, <clears throat> Happy Resurrection Day, first off. Um, some of you may know it as Easter. I call it Resurrection Day. Um, so I hope you guys are having a good day. And I'm just coming to you guys um, with a video about... Um, Facial care, or I guess skin care for a face. Um, <clears throat> I had someone ask me yesterday uh, what kind of cleanser I use on my face, and a lot of people usually ask me what types of skin care I use. Um, I don't know if it's because uh, they think I have clear skin or whatever. Um, really, I just am blessed. I don't really get bumps too much. Um, I get pimples here and there, usually on my chin, um, forehead area. Um, but other than that, um, and some on this side as well. Um, other than that, you know, I don't really get too many bumps. Um, I do have some discoloration, but that's kind of, you know, just genetic or whatever. So you have no control over that. But I will um, share some tips with you of what I do um, to keep my skin clear and just clean and moisturized and that's pretty much it. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with, um, let's see how we're gonna do this. I'll start off with what I cleanse my face with. Okay, so for years I used um, Dove Bar Soap for my facial um, just facial cleanser and it has recently been discontinued um, they came out with a new line of Dove soaps that are um, the smell is just very loud smelling to me um, the one I used to use was the Nutrium the Dove Nutrium bar and they've discontinued it I found it at Big Lots for a while but I figure I might as well just um, just go ahead and uh, switch over um, to a new uh, facial cleanser. So I found this one and it is Olay. It's hard for you to see that. There we go. Foaming face wash and it's a uh, deep cleans, not over drying, soap and oil free and it's for a sensitive skin. Um, so if you want to pick this up, just make sure you get the one for sensitive skin. It has no um, perfumes or anything. Um, it does have a light scent to me, but um, <clears throat> I have a very strong nose, so um, I can pick up scent in any, pretty much anything. But um, this is very inexpensive at the drugstore. I probably got it at Rite Aid, um, and I just kind of tried it out one day. Just happened to be in Rite Aid and saw it and needed a facial wash. Um, wanted something that was pretty um, non-harsh and it's only about three to four dollars I think probably four bucks and some change and I really like it I like that it has a pump on it um, and I'm, I need a new bottle of this so this works uh, very well you just use it with um, warm water um, lather it up and then rinse with warm water okay so next after I um, cleanse my face I follow it up with a moisturizer um, this is really important because it just keeps away the flakes and flakiness of your skin it keeps your skin um, healthy looking and moisturized no one wants to have dry looking skin um, I'm prone for dry skin on my face so I really need a good moisturizer um, to just give it back that uh, luster and moisture that the face wash takes away even though this face wash is very very non harsh and sensitive um, of course any type of soap um, is gonna uh, have a drying effect so I use the Trader Joe's brand and it's called enrich moisturizing face lotion with SPF 15 and it looks like that and this is very inexpensive as well I don't like to spend a lot of money on um, my you know makeup and facial products 
Um, this is about maybe, I'd say three bucks at Trader Joe's. I'm not sure if they have Trader Joe's all across the U.S. I do know that they have them in various locations in California. Um, and you can probably find loc locations online. This is fragrance free for all skin types, light and non-greasy. Um, this works very well for me. Um, it's also a sunscreen, which is an added bonus. And, um, it just moisturizes my skin very well. This is kind of like a dupe for, um, Olay. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's just their basic moisturizer. It actually even looks like the bottle that that comes in. And this is very inexpensive and it works very well for me. Okay. Um, next I'm going to talk about, um, a facial scrub that I use. And I use this, um, supposedly, I'm, well, I'm supposed to use it just my own schedule that I've made up. Uh, I try to use it once a week, but I really don't. Um, I'll just kind of use it every blue moon when I think about it because I always forget to use it. I actually used it today, and it seems like whenever I do use it, um, after the fact, I get compliments on my skin. Um, people say that my skin looks refreshed or um, if, you know, someone happens to touch my skin, it's uh, very smooth. Um, so this takes away the dead skin and it is the Queen Helene Cocoa Butter Natural Facial Scrub. Um, unique deep cleansing formula with pure cocoa butter. Um, the Queen Helene line, ha they have a couple of these different scrubs. I've only tried the oatmeal and honey and then this one, the cocoa butter. Um, I don't know exactly which one I like better. I don't think I have a preference. Both of them work equally as well. I do just think that I may more so prefer the cocoa butter one just because it seems a little bit more rich and thicker than um, the oatmeal and honey. I can't quite remember because I don't have that one right now. I actually gave it away um, and replaced it with this one. Um, you can purchase these at Sally's. Um, I'm not sure exactly where else you can purchase them. I purchased this one at Sally's. I purchased the other one that I had previously at just a local beauty supply store. And these are fairly inexpensive as well. Probably about... Um, you can pick them up for like three dollars sometimes they have special deals two for five or something like that um i'd like to try a lot more of the ones from the queen helene line um i think they're great and um it claims that they're natural of course it has some types of um uh chemical sulfates in it but for the most part i like it um i'm not a natural junkie um, not exclusively natural or anything like that. If a product works for me, I like it and I use it. So that's Queen Helene Cocoa Butter Natural Facial Scrub. And that's pretty much, I use it as an exfoliator to get rid of uh, dead skin that accumulates on your face. Okay, and the last product I have is a makeup remover. Um, I don't really use makeup remover as often as I should. I kind of am bad at going to sleep with my makeup on my face which I'm really trying to break that habit because um, I know it's not good to keep your makeup on um, for long periods of time especially when you're sleeping um, and uh, I'm rambling on anyways I use um, the Almay moisturizing it looks like that the Alme Moisturizing Eye Makeup Remover Liquid with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. 100% fragrance free and it's hypoallergenic. Um, I got this as a request, not a request, um, someone recommended it on YouTube, not necessarily to me personally, but um, I like the way her skin looked and it was a pretty, not necessarily a natural product, it does have mineral oil in it. Um, but for the most part, it seemed um, non-harsh, that's what I'll say. Um, <clears throat> and it works very well. I've used half of this. I've had it for about maybe a year and a half. And um, pretty much I use it on a cotton ball and just wipe off um, the, um, what am I trying to say, <laughs> eyeliner and mascara from my eyes before I wash my face at night. Um, and I don't always wash my face at night, but when I do think about it and remember, or just if, you know, throughout the day I've gotten pretty gunky or, you know, um, sweaty or whatever, I'll usually wash it, um, 
and I'll use this to uh, take off the makeup. I use this a lot as well when I go, maybe when I go out sometimes at night, maybe for a dinner or whatever, and I have put on um, more makeup than usual on my eyes. I'll, um, I'll use this to remove it just so that I'm not pulling my skin a lot around my eyes um, when I do dry it. Because when I don't use this, I end up washing it, washing my face, and then the mascara and the eyeliner doesn't completely um, come off just with the water. And then I end up tugging at my skin with my drying towel when I um, dry my face, which is a no-no. So this is a great product. Um, this is very inexpensive as well, probably about 3 or $4 at your local drugstore, Rite Aid, CVS, any type of drugstore, grocery store. And that's the Almay moisturizing makeup remover okay so that's pretty much it for my video today um, just some skin skincare products that I use um, tips uh, if you have any questions or um, uh, want to comment about anything that I've said or want to ask me about any of the products I've um, named here I try to put most of the products in the box at the bottom um, but if not, if you have any other questions, please feel free to uh, hit me up and let me know your question. And I hope that you have a great rest of um, the day, Resurrection Day, if you're watching this today. If not, I hope you have a good rest of the week and year. And I'll talk to you all soon. See you later.